Hello Confetti Club, it is Pixie and I'm purple now! I'm purple and rainbow, I hope you like it. I just did this today, I really like it. It's a little bit darker than I wanted it to be, but it'll fade, it'll fade. Anyway, today we have a super exciting video. If you follow me on Twitter at Pixie Locks with three E's or two, um, you would know that this has been a coming boy. Um, I did a cheeky little Lazy Oaf haul on Doll's Kill. Um, it's three Lazy Oaf pieces and one sugar pill piece. Sugar pills clothing, not the makeup brand. Um, and oh my gosh, it came today. Okay, first of all, I don't want to like ramble too much, but I just gotta say that their shipping comes so fast, at least where I am in the world. I ordered this on Thursday. It shipped Friday and it got here today. It's Tuesday. Bye. Shipping was free. Bye. We have a big, thick boy here. <gasps> there was some uh, charges at the door, but it was only 42, um, which is good because I've been charged like a hundred effing dollaroonies before. And it's like, I just want my things. So excited. So excited. So it is in a box, a box and a bag and a box and a bag, um, which is good because I guess I, I, it was like $600 worth of stuff. Um, and it's only four things, but it is Lazy Oaf. You do kind of pay for the name and the nicheness and the quality, of course. It says, I'm here, let's party. I've ordered from Doll's Kill before, but I've never gotten this box. Thrilling. Oh, oh, I see the thing already. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, well, first of all, oh, she's pink in there. This is, I'm gonna just go from what I see first. This is the reason that I ordered anything at all, and this was the most expensive thing by far. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm gonna open it up. This first piece is Lazy Oaf. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, ginormous also pink faux fur coat with this freaking spooky bear face on the back. I love it. It's giant. It's pink. I'm gonna do a try on as well. Um, I just think it's freaking cool as hell, dude. Um, you guys know I'm in Canada. It gets cold. The winters get absolutely ridiculous. Like, don't leave your house bad. Um, so I was like, this looks humongous and thick and it goes to my knees. So if there's a blizzard and this was $320 Canadian. Um, I'm not sure how much that is in American or in pounds or whatever, but I compared to, I compared to the ASOS website, um, but on the ASOS website, it was 400 Canadian dollars and something. So I was like, ah, okay, let's do it here. Oh, I love this so much. So excited, so excited, so excited, so excited. My mom hates the bare face but I love it. I think it's spooky and good. This coat is made of all of my hopes and dreams. I love it. Here, this is actually the first time I ever put it on, and as soon as it was on my body, I was just like, oh my god, this is the coat for me, TM. It is comfy, it is cozy, it is the perfect shade of pink, which you don't see in fur a lot. I love the bear face. I think it's kitschy. I think it's funny. I like how long the coat is. The sleeves I found were a little long. You can see my little fingies just sticking out, but I can fix that. Here's me getting comfy, getting cozy. Uh, the collar kind of eats my face because it's so high and so fluffy, but I don't really mind. The inside is lined with what looks like satin or silk or something very nice. It's nice quality, you can tell. And I'm just a happy bean. The buttons are hearts. The bear is good. I love my life. So good. What else we got in here? Okay, I'll do all the lazy of things together. I'm 
so mad too because there were several lazy old things that I had been keeping my eye on all summer and of course I waited too long and most of them had sold out but I still got three cute pieces this is just a really cute top it's a ringer tee it's actually velvet I saw this at first and I was like hey whatever but it is velvet do 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 um, I really love pink and red as a combination. I think it's really cool. Um, it is very Valentine's Day-y, which I love, but also it kind of just feel like the red makes it feel a little more wintry, folly. Is that wrong? I don't know. I'm like, it's a darker color than usual, and I just think it's really cute, and it has the little embroidered lazy for lazy oaf and also for being lazy. I love this top. This top is comfy. This top is cozy. I wore it for a video I just shot, which will be the one that's up after this one. Um, yeah, I love it. I like that the embroidery is a little metallic. It's soft. It's warm. I like that you can see my tattoo. A plus. Good shirt. And I like that everything I got, like, kind of goes together. Look at that. Ooh, this is so cute. I'm so excited. This is one of their newer pieces that just launched. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Oh, it's just a really simple tee. Uh, it's got a lettuce hem on the little sleeveys. And then it does have the little, do you still call it a ringer if it's just the neck? I don't know. Um, and it has all these cute little heartsy hearts. And I'm like, this is awesome. This is a staple. Um, I also feel like I have been not lacking but it's good to stock up on things that look cool from here up because as a youtuber y'all don't see anything else going on here that is what makes me so sad about this really freaking cool unif dress that i got and i did a whole video on this but in videos all you see is this and it's like why is she wearing a giant chunky knit white shirt with like a tiny red ring and then big red rings because you don't see how good it is. So I'm always looking to get things that are cool and interesting all around, especially around the neckline. And yeah, this is, this is adorbs. This is adorable. On their site, they had it paired with the yellow, I think it's called Moody Mustard Skirt. It's a yellow skirt with happy faces and sad faces. Um, I thought that was cute, but I didn't get it. Okay, while I'm holding my cat here, I want to touch on the fact that the head hole for this shirt was freakishly small. Like, I couldn't get my noggin through it. So, if you want to wear this shirt, I'd at least put it on before you do your makeup. But once it's on, it's fine. Um, it's super cute. I didn't know how to style it. I was thinking of doing the old, like, 80s flippy one strap down thing but anyway it's cute love this shirt classic easy to wear 10 points the last thing you guys you guys this has been a ride because i saw these pants they are pants because winter's coming and i don't wear pants like pretty much ever i have like that one pair of the jeans that I got in Japan with the pink hearts on the knees but other than that like I wear skirts all winter I don't care I'm Canadian I will pull up my knee-high socks and pull on my knee-length fur jacket and I will go and I will trudge to Tim Hortons and it will be fine but I was like Jillian you can get cute pants and be comfy ya be word so I found these and I wasn't even expecting to get them. Yes, they are pink velvet, boy. Um, and they are, are you ready? Pink snap track pants with the snaps down the sides. Oh my God. I think these are the coolest things in the world. This style has been coming back. The first person I saw wearing them actually was Tana Mojo, and I was like, you know what, girl, those are pretty cute. Um, and so you can, like, unsnap the bottom. Or you can unsnap the whole thing, but probably shouldn't, because then... Naked. Um, but you can, like, have a little flary thing, or you can do them all up. Super comfy comfy. And I've just never owned anything like this. So I was like, you know what? These are cool as hell. And it's a good bubblegum pink, which I was worried about. A lot of pink velvets are always like 
more salmon-y or muted. I don't know why. Why do people do that? But this, this is the good stuff. Give me more of this. However, I didn't realize in the original picture, I did not realize at first that there's a little something something on the ass. <laughs> there's a little, a little something something. And when I saw it, I freaked out and I sent a message to my group chat, which maybe I will insert here because it's really funny. Oh my f***ing god, okay, I literally almost added these to my cart because like, I think they're cool, I think they're sweet, I like the like, button up -y thing on the side you can undo because you can like f*** whenever you want, easy access, really cool, and I'm like, oh, they're called man-eater sweatpants, probably because you look so hot in it. And then, thank god, I noticed it says man eater with like a tramp stamp on your ass oh my god that is definitely something I would have bought and not realized and then got my hundred dollar sweatpants here to have them say man eater on the ass cheeks and I was just like oh my gosh I can't believe I didn't realize this good thing I didn't get them and then I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it, and I was like, I really like them. And like, we can just say that that's ironic, but I got them! Hey, what's going on? And even my mom, like I showed them to my mom, and my mom stand these more than the bear coat. Like, my mom would rather I be a man-eater than a big fluffy bear. Anyway, I thought it was funny. So I just, I freaking went for it, dude. I'm like, either it's ironic or I can cover it up. You can't see it that much. I don't know. Do I like the embroidery? No. I could also, like, I could seam rip it if I was incredibly brave. Hey, they didn't pull the rest of their freaking stabilizer. Get out of there, you lazy frickers. These were $78. Remove the rest of your stabilizer. Now that I'm learning more how to sew, I'm like, come on. But yeah, I got, them. I think these are freaking cool. I really hope they fit. Um, I got them in a large because I have a booty. So it's really weird because I got the coat in a small, I got the tops in a small, and uh, small? Yeah, I got everything in a small, but then these in a large, because sizing works, um, but I don't know. I can also take in the waist if they're too big, but anyway, um, I'm gonna do try-ons. You guys will have seen them anyway, but I'm gonna go film those now. The pants are good by I love them. They are a bit big on me around the waist. They're pretty big on me. Um, but I like having my pants be super duper loose anyway, like I don't want it to cling to my thighs or anything. So I think I'll just take it in the waist and then be like a floaty pant lady. I love them. They're amazing. They're comfy. And you know what? I don't even mind it. I am a man eater. There we go. Declaration of man eaterness. Good. So good. This was so fun. I am so excited. I want to wear these things for the rest of my life. I just want to film more videos now so I can wear my cute clothes. Hee hee hee. Hopefully it looks cool with my purple hair. Does that look... Oh yeah, it's fine. Okay. Hee 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 hee. I feel like it's almost better because now, like, in a lot of my videos, it's like, what's the background and what's actually pixie? We don't know because everything's pink and rainbow. I'm gonna get a confetti club member. Burp, 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 burp. Ooh, cheeky plug my phone case. Buy my phone case. This video is just a big homage to Tana Mojo. This video's featured confetti club member is Degree in Whimsy on Instagram. You look so freaking cool. Rockin' the Choose Your Weapon Magical Girl tee, which is no longer available. So look, is it vintage? No, but let's say it's exclusive and rare. <laughs> um, no, you look freaking cute. That looks really cool in pink. You look really cool in pink. You're rocking it. Love you to bits. Thank you for your support. You guys know if you want to be a featured confetti club member, tag me in a pic of you on Instagram um, of you in your Pixie Threads merch items from my spreadsheet, which is linked at the end of the video and in the description. Plugs for days. Love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one, because I'm gonna go be lazy. Bye.